For this Clarity series, this is the first of three videos about voice actors. In this first video, I'm going to talk about the things I consider when it comes to choosing a voice actor for you. So when I look for a voice for one of your productions, it's not always about the sound of the voice itself. What I look for is credibility, a voice that's going to help tell your story. Now, let's listen to how a voice can help change the feel of your message. In this first example, Donna Coney Island plays the doctor. Paul Payton plays the sales rep. So, Dr. Harris, arthrophine should be taken twice a day for 21 days. It's really that simple. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. What if one or two doses are missed? For example, what if my patient's traveling and forgets to pack his medications? If only one or two doses are missed, he should continue. Here it is with Emily Reese playing the sales rep. So, Dr. Harris, arthrophine should be taken twice a day for 21 days. It's really that simple. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. What if one or two doses are missed? For example, what if my patient's traveling and forgets to pack his medications? If only one or two doses are missed... Here it is again with Michael Jarvis playing the sales rep. So, Dr. Harris, arthropine should be taken twice a day for 21 days. It's really that simple. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. What if one or two doses are missed? For example, what if my patient's traveling and forgets to pack his medication? If only one or two doses... Every voice and every voice performance paints a different picture of the person who is speaking. Today, I've brought in some expert help. Using Skype, I have with me today Donna Coney Island, Paul Payton, Michael Jarmus, and Emily Reese. Today I'm talking about choosing a voice actor. Specifically, we're talking about real people, character type voices, and narrations. When a client is looking for a single voice for a narration or a character, what are some of the things we need to consider? Well, I, I like to ask them who the audience is, first of all. Who will I be speaking to? Uh, before we're gonna carry off the credibility that's necessary. You want somebody who's really focused, on getting across that client's message. Do you want them to go buy something? Do you want them to believe a certain way? Uh, do you want them to think about something, to have a particular feeling in the heart, or an intellectual response? What are you after? That's a good point. When multiple voices are used for characters, we don't want two females that sound too similar, or two males that sound too similar, because we want our audience to be able to recognize who is speaking instantly. Let's discuss that a little bit. Differentiation of voices is not only important to the story that's being told, but makes the whole thing more interesting to the ear. I think Michael nailed that. I have worked best when I've either worked with another male who is in a completely different range and style of delivery, or with a female. And I find that in terms of multiple voices, that's the best contrast. I agree. The more color and variety in texture that, that you can get, the better. Let's talk about accents. Nothing's worse than a bad accent. And often, I found that less is more. You need to have an, a hint of the accent in terms of the audio. Enough so that the audience can identify it, but not so much that you're listening to the accent, or worse, trying to decode what the person is saying. I've done various accents for audio books. They have to sound authentic, but they're a very different thing from straight narration, of course. You really have to act well, <laughs> because you don't want these people to come across as caricatures. What really makes an accent is the rhythm of the words and the music of the words. When that is not just cookie cutter, then it's gonna fly and it's gonna sing and it's gonna sound real. Let's talk about a single actor doing multiple voices. More actors generally turns out to be cost effective and the quality is very, very, very much better. You know, we can be up and young, and we can, we can be top 40 and screaming. We can be very serious and corporate. We can be sinister. We can do all this kind of stuff. But it's a wide range of me. It's ideal if you can have different people for different voices, but it is possible with just pitch. 
you can direct somebody, I think, where they need to go. If you've hired somebody who really has the ear to understand what's needed. I agree with Emily. That's a good point. Well, thank you all for helping me out today. Donna Coney Island, Paul Payton, Emily Reese, and Michael Jarmus. And thank you for watching.